Tesla Liberty Collision, a reputation for superior quality, spanning seven decades. Any repair, any vehicle. Delivered on time, on budget. No compromises, no surprises. Our building has a new look, but our family's promise to get it right every time remains the same. La Liberty Collision, serving Essex and Kent counties from 47 Mill Street West, Tilbury. While walking through the Fleetwood Country Cruise Inn in London, Ontario, we spotted this Trans Am. Now, this might look like any other Pontiac Firebird Trans Am, but those who know their Pontiacs know this bird is special. This is a 1973 Pontiac Firebird Trans Am Super Duty. See that SD on the hood? That's the real deal, folks. This is not a clone. Owner Les Fabian knows he has one of the rarest of the rare Trans Ams. They only ever built 72 of them with a four-speed transmission. Well, in 1973, that is. The Super Duty was a high-performance Trans Am produced at a time when horsepower was a dirty word. In 1973 and 1974, when these cars were manufactured, government regulations were forcing car makers to reduce power to improve fuel economy. But a team at Pontiac decided there was still a place for a car like this, a Trans Am with the heart of a race car. It's frightening. <laughs> I'm, I'm not kidding you, at times it frightens me if I got a bit heavy footed. With an engine that shared components with NASCAR race cars, with a rock solid transmission, with gearing that lets you light up the back tires and set pavement on fire. From the block and heads to the carb and manifolds, the 455 engine in this beast was more powerful than any other V8 offered in the Firebird lineup. Other 455s just didn't compare. Only about 1,296 of these cars were produced in 73 and 74, and only a handful had manual transmissions. And this is one of them. It is rare, it is valuable, and Les Fabian knows it. Most of the important parts appear to be here. One of the biggest concerns when buying one of these cars is that engine parts may be missing or engine work may be required. Parts can be hard to find and that can lead to big restoration bills. This car looks pretty much intact though, which makes it a great find at Canada's largest outdoor car show, the Fleetwood Country Cruise Inn, where we stumbled upon one of the last true muscle cars ever produced. Rick Walker, SST.